White sand beaches with light blue water may be the most sought after type, but there are some beaches out there that look very different. Be it pink sand, black sand, or no sand at all, there are some beaches out there that are truly unique. Here are the top 15 most unusual sand beaches. Number 15. The Glowing Beach While most sand is pretty bland, the glowing beach gives its sand a little sparkle. Located in the Maldives, this beach stands apart due to the fact that it glows. This is possible thanks to a natural process known as bioluminescence, which is facilitated by the microscopic phytoplankton that live in the sand. Now, typically speaking, they don't glow, but when agitated by the surf at night, they will light up and become a bright blue color. And these phytoplankton will be located far out at sea, but sometimes they will be washed ashore onto the glowing beach, providing a sight that is nothing short of surreal. Therefore, while it's impossible to exactly predict when the glowing beach will glow, it's certainly worth taking the trip out to the Maldives to have a chance at seeing it in action. Number 14. Marietta Beach Generally speaking, most beaches are out in the open, and be they cold or warm, you typically have to contend with the rays of the sun, the strength of the wind, or some other external factor. Yet at Marietta Beach, you can relax in complete seclusion. That's because it's a beach that's completely surrounded by trees, with a small opening allowing a swell of seawater to hit the beach's sandy shores, creating what is essentially a hidden beach. However, in all likelihood, Marietta Beach was not created naturally. That's because the island used to be a testing site for bombs and artillery shells in the early 1900s, with many believing that it was a bomb that created the path that allowed the water to seep into the hidden beach. And while we can't know for sure whether or not this is true, we still think that it's a cool beach to visit regardless. Number 13. Santorini's Red Beach As far as vacation spots go, none are quite as famous as Santorini. After all, it is one of Greece's most scenic islands, as it's home to the famous white and blue houses that are the poster child of Greece's tourism industry. Now, if you happen to turn away from the town of Oya, you can find a red sand beach that's nothing if not impressive. Composed of black and red pulverized volcanic rock from the Santorini Caldera's volcano, the sand is some of the reddest you'll find. As a result, it's popular with locals and tourists alike. However, it should be noted that since 2013, the beach has been the site of some landslides, and thus parts of it have been blocked off for the safety of the visitors. Yet despite this restriction, we'd still say it's worth checking out. Number 12. Punalu'u Black Sand Beach If you're dreaming of a beautiful black sand beach to relax at, then look no further than Punalu'u. Located in Hawaii, the beach has black sand made of basalt, which was created by the reaction between lava and water as the area's local volcanoes splashed lava into the ocean. Now, beyond its picturesque sand, the beach is also famous for housing a host of endangered animals, with these including the hawksbill turtle, green turtle, and Hawaiian monk seal. Therefore, if you'd like to visit the beach that's both beautiful and home to some of the world's most incredible animals, then Punalu'u is the place to be. Number 11. Kohe Kohe Beach While beaches may be home to a variety of different natural features, massive boulders usually aren't one of them. Yet these are what you'll find if you travel to New Zealand's Kohe Kohe Beach, known as the Moiraki Boulders. They typically measure in at between 0.5 to 2.2 meters in diameter and are composed of mud, fine silt, clay, and calcite. It's believed that coastal erosion is what caused them to be created, although local legend has it that the boulders were the remains of the eel baskets, melons, and sweet potatoes that had fallen off a massive sailing canoe from years past. Yet regardless of who you believe, we still suggest checking this beach out at some point during your travels. Number 10. Pfeiffer Beach While there are many colors of beach out there, purple is certainly one of the stranger ones, yet that's exactly what you'll get if you visit the Pfeiffer Beach located in the Ben Sur region of Central California. It's part of the Los Padres National Forest area and can be found at the end of a scenic canyon filled with Californian sycamore trees. While this is beautiful in and of itself, the beach has also picked up a pleasant purple color due to some interesting geological processes. More specifically, the sand is filled with a manganese garnet that is eroded down from nearby hillsides. And while it's not always completely shining, it often gives off a purple color after it rains. Since California typically experiences the most rain in the winter and early spring, these times are widely considered to be the best if one wants to see this spectacular sand. However, beyond the purple patches, Pfeiffer Beach is also known for Keyhole Arch, 
This is essentially a rock formation that appears to have a tiny keyhole in the form of an arch, and at sunset it sometimes has sunlight shining right through it. So we think it's fair to say that this beach is a must-see if you're ever in the area. Number 9. Pink Beach If you ever want to see both a crazy beach and a UNESCO World Heritage Site all in one take, then go over to the Pink Beach. Located on Komodo Island in the country of Indonesia, its sand is a light pink color. This is caused by the host of tiny organisms known as Foraminifera. These are tiny protists that average in about 1 to 3 millimeters in size, and when they die their calcium carbonate shells disintegrate into the sand and wash up on the island. Since these shells are red, when mixed with the white sand they produce a pink color, making this beach one of the few pink ones in the world. However, what makes this beach stand out from the crowd is that it's located in Komodo National Park. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's home to the extremely rare Komodo dragons. These reptiles are native to the area and can be found on a total of up to five Indonesian islands. They grow to a length of up to 3 meters and weigh up to 70 kilograms, and as a result they can be quite the sight as they walk across the sands of the Pink Beach. So we think it's fair to say that this is truly one of the coolest entries on this list. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Portofero Beach While there are plenty of nice beaches out there, few can claim to have sand that is quite as golden as Portofero Beach. Located on the Italian island of Sardinia, the sand's color is so pronounced due to the mix of orange limestone, crushed shells, and volcanic deposits that it's composed of. The area is also known for its water sports, as it reportedly has better waves than almost any other beach on the island. However, if you'd like to visit Port Faro on your next Italian vacation, you'll have to plan well in advance. That's because Sardinia is not accessible from mainland Italy, as the distance between both it and the mainland is far too long to warrant the building of a bridge. Instead, you'll have to choose between taking a plane or a ferry, with the plane being preferable as the ferry ride can take several hours. Once there, the beach is easily accessible, as it's on the northwestern side of the island near the towns of Alghero and Sassari. Therefore, if you want to go to a beach with sands that are truly incredible, then you won't want to miss Porto Ferro. Number 7. Red Sand Shore Prince Edward Islands is easily one of the most picturesque provinces in Canada, and it's known for its quaint villages, beautiful landscapes, and endless potato farms. However, of all the places to visit on the island, one of the most notable is Red Sand Shore. Located across what's approximately 800 kilometers of coastline, the sand here has a very bright red color. This distinctive red hue comes from the fact that there's a lot of iron in the sand, thus creating massive stretches of beach that would not look out of place on Mars. Interestingly enough, it was these shores that inspired Lucy Maud Montgomery's classic novel of Anne Green Gables, with the actual Green Gables house in fact being located on the island in the town of Cavendish. In order to access both the island and its beaches, you can either drive across Confederation Bridge, which is Canada's longest, or take a ferry or plane. In any case, if you want to experience both beautiful beaches and some interesting historic sites, then don't forget to add Prince Edward Island's Red Sand Shore to your itinerary next time you're on Canada's East Coast. Number 6. Palm Jumeirah While most beaches on this list were made thanks to thousands of years of erosion, Palm Jumeirah is not a natural creation. That's because it's a sand beach that was completely man-made. Located in Dubai, the Palm Jumeirah is a massive palm-shaped beach that was crafted out of 92 million cubic meters of sand. Extending Dubai's coastline by about 523 kilometers, it's home to a luxury residential development that currently houses about 10,000 people. These are all connected to the mainland via a monorail, with future plans being in place to expand the monorail to link up with Dubai's metro. However, while this beach may be pretty cool, a lot of controversy has surrounded it. More specifically, many scientists have noted that the local marine ecosystem was almost completely annihilated by the creation of the palm, as the construction teams were not too concerned with the area's ecological sensitivity. Others complain that the houses on the island are extremely crammed together, as the builders' original plans made it seem like the houses would be much larger. Regardless, despite the criticism, it seems that the Palm Jumeirah is here to stay. Number 5. Papakolea Beach At first glance, you'd be forgiven if you thought that this beach was covered in grass. However, this really isn't the case, as Papakolea is just one of four beaches in the world with green sand. Located on the island of Hawaii, 
It's located on what's known as a tuff ring. These tuff rings are essentially areas where lava and seawater have interacted to create volcanic ash. This ash is composed of several different materials, and while much of it gets swept out to sea, a mineral known as olivine often ends up on shore. It's a silicate mineral containing iron and magnesium, and this iron gives it a green color. This then mixes with the sand on the beach to make it green, and due to the tough ring's constant activity, this green material is constantly being resupplied. Putting geology aside, if you'd like to visit Papakoalea, you may be in for a tough time. That's because the beach is rather secluded and requires visitors to hike four and a half kilometers from a secluded parking lot to a lava cliff, which then must be climbed down in order to reach the beach below. While this may be a bit of a pain, it's ensured that Papakoalea has remained pristine as the low amount of foot traffic makes it the perfect place to relax in peace. Once there, however, there are some rules you have to follow. That's because the beach's unique geological circumstances has led it to being protected by the Hawaiian government. And as a result, it's forbidden to take any sand or, if you decide to get there with an off-road vehicle, to drive on it. Yet, as long as you follow these rules, you can have a fun time at Papakoalea without endangering the beach ecology. Number 4. The Glass Beach while walking on sand can be a soothing sensation, walking barefoot at Glass Beach is not recommended. Located close to Fort Bragg in Northern California, it's so polluted that it's now absolutely covered with shards of glass. So how did this happen, you might ask? Well, back in 1906, the area felt the effects of the famous 1906 San Francisco earthquake. This caused the locals to acquire a lot of garbage and rubble. So in order to deal with it all, the residents of Fort Bragg picked a nearby beach to be their designated garbage dump known as the dumps by the locals. They would go there to throw their used glass, appliances, and vehicles, and would periodically set the area on fire in order to diminish the size of the pile. As these sites filled up with glass, they had to be continuously moved to adjacent beaches, with today's glass beach continuing to be a dump site until 1967. It was at this point that cleanup efforts began, yet they soon came to a crawl. That's because in the time between the dump's openings and closing, the weather, water, and differences in pH levels caused the glass to break down into small, smooth pebbles, with the reactions between the water and the glass causing much of the glass to take on different colors. This created a tourist hotspot overnight, and now between 1,000 and 1,200 tourists visit this multicolored glass beach every year to take pictures. While taking any of these smooth pieces is illegal, many visitors will bring one home as a souvenir, and this has caused the levels of glass on the beach to reduce over the years. However, a movement to repopulate the beach with more stones has gone underway, and thankfully there's still enough glass on the beach to make going out to visit it worth the trip. Number 3. Hyams Beach While white sand beaches are some of the most sought after in the world, Hyams Beach is one of the most famous of them all. Located in New South Wales, Australia, it's thought to have some of the whitest sands on the planet. The whiteness of it can be attributed to the fact that the sand is mostly composed of quartz and organic material, such as the shells of skeletons of marine organisms. This white material make it whiter than any other type of sand, and due to the fact that the waves are generally light and the fact that there are no rivers nearby, the sand on the beach is certainly whiter than most. And given that it's just a two and a half hour drive from Sydney and it's filled with hotels and colorful beach cottages, it's not hard to see why many decide to vacation here. However, this beach also stands apart due to the controversy around it. That's because for years, locals made the claim that it had the whitest sands in the world. This all started way back in 1987, when the town's main store put up a billboard stating that the seaside village had, quote, the whitest sand. Eventually, the idea caught on and was picked up by advertising agencies around the country, causing thousands of tourists to descend on the small town. Yet while the beach certainly is very white, in 2005 the National Committee on Soil and Terrain ruled that it doesn't have even the whitest sand in Australia, with that record being held by Lucky Bay, Hellfire Bay, and Talabugera Creek. Thus, the site is certainly very popular, and there are some even whiter beaches out there that are certainly worth giving a look. Number 2. Shell Beach Generally speaking, most beaches have some sort of sand. However, Western Australia's Shell Beach is a little different. That's because it doesn't have any sand to speak of, and is instead one of just two beaches in the world that's entirely covered by shells. Well, how does this work? Well, it turns out that Shell Beach is located in Shark Bay, and this bay is unique because it's sheltered by one of the largest seagrass banks in the entire world. 
This prevents the tide from crashing over the bay and has allowed the water within it to be about two times saltier than the ocean water just outside of it. This has made it impossible for most species to survive within the bay, save for one, the shark cockle. This species populates the beach, and because it has no predators, it's able to breed at an extremely high level, without fear of being eaten. Even though the cockles are just a few millimeters long, over thousands of years they have accumulated to the point that billions of their shells now line the beach, creating what is essentially a beach that's completely filled with shells. Over time, this has even caused land beneath the shells to form, so that it's now just a conglomeration of the carbon shells of the cockles. Known as coquina, this material used to be excavated to make local homes, but ever since Shark Bay became a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1991, this has stopped. Yet this hasn't stopped tourists from visiting the beach, and as long as you don't displace any living shark cockles, you're allowed to take as many shells as you'd like. Number 1. Reynas Fiara Beach while black sand beaches may not be all that uncommon, Reynas Fiara takes it to a whole other level. Located near the town of Vik in Iceland, it's ranked as one of the world's top 21 beaches by National Geographic in 2017, and it's not hard to see why. After all, its sand is a deep black color, and this is due to the impact of volcanoes on the region. More specifically, when they erupted millions of years ago, the molten lava collided with the seawater to create volcanic ash which, due to its black color, was able to make these impressive beaches. However, the black sand isn't the only creation to come out of these eruptions. That's because the beach is just as famous for the massive black columns of basalt that surround it, making it look like something from another planet. Interestingly enough, both erosion from the basalt and the consistent rains that hit this part of the island make sure that the beach always stays black, allowing it to avoid becoming the dull gray color that's characteristic of the world's supposedly black sand beaches. When contrasted with the beautiful blue water of the sea in the summer and the white snows that cap off the black sand in the winter, it's not hard to see why tourists absolutely love Reynas Fiara. Interestingly, Reynas Fiara is also the subject of quite a bit of folklore. That's because the big black basalt columns that sit on the shoreline were, according to local legend, trolls who would pull ships from the sea out to shore at night. However, they weren't exactly all that smart, and some decided to stay out after the sun came up. This caused them to turn into solid stone, and it's for this reason that they now stand as basalt columns all across Reynas Fiara. Watch our nature playlist for more top 15 videos about beautiful nature. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best nature videos.